Today, I invite you on a journey, a requiem for an emotion where meditation, monsters, and I intersect. I want to take you back to a recent meditation retreat I attended. This was a night where my perspective changed dramatically. It started as an evening like any other, surrounded by the serenity of the retreat, but my mind was anything but serene. Tensions over unpaid wages, the fear of a company's future, and my decision to walk away from opportunity. Everything converged into a storm of emotions. I tried to journal, hoping the ink could absorb my worries, but the real test came at sunset. Amid the peace, my inner turmoil grew. Inside the temple, with its distractions from mosquito bites to hot air and sweat dripping down the side of my back to a particular temple dog that couldn't stop farting. With every distraction, the weight on my chest grew. Tears began to fill from my eyes and the beads of my mala seemed to blur away. After some time, the host and my guide noticed my distress. And he would chime in, it's okay to feel, it's okay to be in the moment, it's okay to let go. But it was hard for me to let go. My mind just kept running away. There was a part of me that wanted to just jump up and in the fading daylight of that evening run as far away as I could, screaming into the darkness. At one moment our guide decided to stop anything. He set down his mala beads and announced, we're going to do something different. He then told us to take this deep breath, breathe in as much as we could, and we were gonna yell as loud as we could. We breathed in, we let go, and we screamed. We screamed and screamed and screamed. Each shout was a layer of pent up frustration and sadness melting away. After a bit of this, everything returned to quiet. The host, looking at all of us, took a deep breath and said, have any of you seen the movie Monsters, Inc.? He would go on to say, we often fear our emotions, much like the kids feared the monsters. But those monsters like our emotions. We're not actually inherently bad. They just needed to be seen in a different light. And so that night, I'd miss the temple meditations and chants, the mosquitoes, and even one gassy temple dog found new patience within myself. Our emotions are not monsters. They're just a part of us, trying to be understood. And sometimes it just takes a moment of release and a fresh perspective. <laughs>